Hey everyone, welcome back to another Vapor Honing Technologies video. My name is Ryan and I'm here with Tua. And today we're going to be discussing how to deep clean a cylinder head just like this. So for starters, let's actually, Tua, what actual, what is this off of? This is actually off of an Acra Integra LS and this is a B18B head. Gotcha. How, what, what year is this? Do you know? Uh, if I believe it was a 1996. 96. Mm -hmm. So this thing has had years to get a ton of grime and build up on it. First thing that we did to deep clean this cylinder head was put it in our hydroblast unit here. Mm -hmm. And to explain what a hydroblast is, we always refer to it as a mechanic's best friend because that's, that's truly what it is. Um, a hydroblast is just 1700 PSI of pure water pressure. So you can take this this cylinder head right here, put it inside a hydroblast and just remove any of that grease and grime that's built up on this thing's surface. Now, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to remove everything like our vapor honing cabinet would because it doesn't have that aggregate in there, like the abrasive particles to actually be able to strip the part. But what it does allow you to do is if you're working with any piece, you pull it off the car, pull it off of whatever you're working on, blast it, remove any of that grease and grime, and you're able to put it back on there and work on it in a much more OEM-like state. Of course, the finish isn't gonna be in there. By pre-cleaning the part, you're actually able to get excellent finishes just like this. Definitely. After we blasted this head in our hydro blast unit, we moved over to our VH1000HD, which is a vapor honing machine. And if you do not know what a vapor honing cabinet is, basically it's a sandblaster, but with the addition of water. And I know that sounds minuscule, but this actually completely changes the way the process works. So with vapor honing, we use what is referred to as a clean by flow process. So the abrasive and water are actually mixed together when they're coming out of the blast gun and they are propelled by uh, compressed air. So that uh, the water is going to actually interact with your part first and then the abrasive is able to follow along behind it. And what this prevents is like with sandblasting, whenever you have the abrasive coming out of the gun, it is just slamming into your part. There's no protection on your part. So what this does is creates very rough, unvisually pleasing surfaces. Um, but when you're wet blasting, that water is going to prevent your abrasive from just slamming into the part. And it's actually going to allow that abrasive to use its characteristics. So for example, with this piece, we used a glass bead. A glass bead is a round circular abrasive. So it was able to roll across the part. And specifically with this being aluminum, what it's able to do is roll those pores. So if you were to look under a microscope when you're sandblasting, you're actually opening those pores up. That's why it looks so visually unpleasing. And that also promotes oil to be able to, to get back on it. You, you guys know, you've done it before. You sandblast apart, you pull it out with your hands, and then there's immediately an oil spot there. But with vapor honing, you're actually sealing those pores. And that again, that goes back to the clean by flow process that we're using. And it's one of the major advantages of using a vapor honing process on parts like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just to reiterate, whenever you're vapor blasting, you're actually allowing your abrasive to use its characteristics. For example, if you wanted to roughen this part up, you would use something like an aluminum oxide, which is a sharp angular abra abrasive. So when that comes out of the blast gun, it's just gonna hit the part and then kind of etch the surface. It's not necessarily slamming into it like it would with sandblasting, but you're still able to etch the surface. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do any type of coating afterwards, say it's a Cerakote, because we, we actually have a lot of experience with Cerakote. Definitely. Um, and especially if you're in like any type of performance settings where you guys have parts that you're wanting to put Cerakote on to pull heat out of, vapor honing is an excellent prepping, uh, prepping, prepping tool. Yeah, basically. tool, there we go, <laughs> because it's not going to damage your parts like you would with sandblasting. And actually for a cylinder head like this, where it bolts together here, you don't have to worry about removing any of this material. So the sealing surfaces is actually not damaged. Um, that's the reason why we use um, vapor honing because it really doesn't damage anything, especially if you're using glass bead. And that's what Absolutely. we did here is we, we blasted this whole head with glass bead and uh, I blasted it personally myself. And here on the ceiling surfaces, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna slap this thing 
back on to whatever I could put this thing on. So I could be swapping a motor and putting this in and I'm all set. So after vapor blasting this head, uh, even though we removed as much abrasive as possible, we, we kind of want to go ahead and go behind and like do as much as we can to get all the other abrasive off. So by doing that, Ryan, could you fill us in on what exactly to, what is the process to go ahead and get as much of the abrasive out? Yeah, absolutely. Kind of like what Tua was saying, the good thing about wet blasting is that when you're blasting, the abrasive is gonna follow the water, which means that you can clean out hidden passageways and small little crevices, things of that nature. But the issue is that there can be some residual abrasive that's left in your part. So what we always suggest doing is of course, rinsing the part down once you're finished. And then after that, we suggest using dip tanks, which is just a tank of water that you can put the part in, move it around thoroughly. What that helps to do is it helps to uh, suspend the abrasive in the water and when you pull it out hopefully it pulls it out. Um, we also suggest using ultrasonic cleaners and something we're getting into more now is a vibratory stuff. So it's basically like a dip tank but you can set the part down in it and it vibrates it and make sure it gets it out. Another thing we actually use is our hydro blast because again mm -hmm. you're blasting at about 1700 psi. So for parts like this, it's perfect to put down in those little passageways and blast all that residual media out. Uh -huh. But one thing, and it's something that I follow at home, it's something that I follow in every part that I blast here, when you think it's clean and you think you've gotten all the abrasive out, wash it and, and clean it again. And, and by clean it, I mean blow it out with an air hose and, and make certain that it's dry and make certain that there's no abrasive. Uh -huh. Also something that I do personally is just allow the, allow the piece to dry on its own and then dry it off, uh, rinse it, dunk it, and dry it off again. Because sometimes just letting it dry and letting that abrasive get to the point where it will fall off is a, is a very smart idea. All right, guys, um, this pretty much kind of sums it up. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how we achieve this finish or anything about uh, what we talked about today, the hydroblast and how to, to get these kind of finished. Uh, list them in the comments below and let us know and we'll go ahead and do our best to go ahead and inform you guys about it. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about the hydroblast, the VH1000 that we used, or any of our machines in general, please call us. You can call us at 828-202-5563. If you guys have any questions about our process, be it wet blasting, be it soda blasting, leave it in the comments below. We'll make sure to read through those and hope to help to answer your questions. Um, and if you guys are ready to get excellent finishes just like this and be able to deep clean your engine parts at home or at scale in your business, again, you can reach us at 828-202-5563. We can help you guys get set up, get the exact machine that you need, the exact abrasives, and get you up and running in no time. That way you can get your return on investment going and get this perceived value right here because this thing looks excellent and we want to help you achieve it. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscri subscribing. Also check out our other videos on our channel. We post great content just like this every day. Um, and we also have a bunch of other socials. You guys can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, you name it, we're probably on it. Mm -hmm. But again, if you guys have any questions, really doesn't matter. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and peace. Later. Mm -hmm.